Hello programmer, my name is Jose Manuel Wala. This video will make you able to upload your project on GitHub and email at most two people who are interested in your project. For this, I'll be using the git commands and uploaded using console. Now why git? As it manages different versions of our project, not like older days where we used to have multiple copies of same project stored using timestamp. We can also store our project in a centralized repository where others can also collaborate. As a prerequisite, firstly, we need to have git installed for our machine and global configuration done for it after installation. Secondly, a GitHub account for uploading your project in a centralized repository. I will demonstrate everything for you. Just follow along. Firstly, download the git from this particular URL and use the default installation to work with it. Now I will show you if the installation is done properly or not. Since to save some time, I have already downloaded and installed it. Use the command prompt and type the git command. If you can see all those available commands, it means the installation has been done properly. If you find the whether the git is not recognized as an internal or external command, you just need to check how to set environment variable for git. Now we are going to move ahead with the global configuration as I said earlier. This will be done only once per machine. So let me clear my screen first. So for doing the global configuration, we need to use the git config followed by hyphen hyphen global and user dot name now one more thing needs to be added that is the email address so git config So that's it for the global configuration for my machine. I've, now I'm going to create a project in Eclipse and I'm going to upload it in a GitHub centralized repository. But first I need to create my project in my local machine. So I'm using my Eclipse ID, file, new. I'm going to create a dynamic web project. I'm going to give it name as demo project. I will add one index file in the web content directory. The last step you just need to save your file whatever you have done. Now we need to move to this particular project directory which I have kept in E drive. So I will move to my drive first. Then I will move to my project directory. So this is how you are going to move to your project directory. As a first step and for a new project you have to use the git init command. This will initialize an empty git repository for you and you don't have to repeat this step again while uploading your project to github again and again. You just have to use this command only once per project. After this we have to stage all the files for commit using the git add command. So git followed by add option followed by a dot. Dot says I want to make available all the files for my next commit. Now I'm going to commit everything. Whatever changes you do to your project, you commit it. So git followed by commit command. And an M hyphen M option. That you can provide a message for your commit. So this is my first commit. So all the files has been committed. Every change has been saved. Now our next step is to upload this particular project on the GitHub. So I will open my GitHub account which I have already logged in. Now I am going to create a new repository for it. By clicking on new repository, I will give it a repository name. Not necessary this name should be same as your project name but I would like to keep it same. And click on create repository. Once a repository is created, a page is listed with all the basic command which we have already used git init, git add readme, git commit the important command that we are going to use it git remote add this 
command will link your git repository with your local machine project so we are just going to copy it paste it in your command prompt and press enter once it is done we need to push our project from local machine to the github repository for that we are going to use another command that is the git push command so how to use the git push command if you can see in your github repository which i have created the command is also available here git push hyphen u origin master so i am going to copy it it will ask for your username and password the password won't be visible due to security reason but i am going to type my password as well as you can see within a second my project has been transformed from my local machine to the github repository to verify it i am go again going to my github repository and i am just going to do a refresh as you can see my files has been added to my repository in web content there will be one file called as index.html and you can see your commit message as well now i will show you how to create an email service in this one so go to settings select web hooks and services click on this add service here you just need to search email now it will ask the address of the person whom or who are interested for your project so i'm going to provide my alternate email address and check this send from author and click add service now to demonstrate how this service work i will make certain changes in my project i will go to my project i will update this particular file I will save it, and I am going to use another command called as the git status command. The status command will give any changes which we have done to our project, like modified, removed, or created any new thing. So git status. It is just for checking purpose. As you can see, I have modified my file. It is showing. Okay, the file has been modified. I will clear my screen. Now, what needs to be done? So, uh, I am going to add git add. dot so that the files are ready for commit i do a git commit now i'm not going to use the remote command again because it has been already linked with my project i just need to use the push command again it is asking for my username and password again as you can see the my file has been uploaded to my github repository just to verify it i will go to my github repository again and i will click on my demo project link as you can see this is my second commit and the web content and i am getting this index.html which has been added in my second commit now regarding email i just need to go to my email so i have already logged in i just need to refresh as you can see i have got a mail sent from the github service that this is my second commit and what are the changes which i have done at what particular date so this service can we can use to track the progress of our project i can shoot an email to my mentor to my project manager or to myself also to keep a track when i have done this so and so commit so this service is very helpful now we'll talk little about how to work with branch as well but before working with branch i would like to show you one more command called as git log that will give you the commit id at what time you have done 
the commit on which particular date so you can use it for hard reset as well as for soft reset the possibilities are endless now we'll talk little about how to work with branch and what is a branch a branch in your project can be used to separate out your project keeping the master branch clean and add additional feature on project keeping the existing one as it is later on we can merge it to the master branch to create a branch for adding any new feature by keeping master branch clean use the git checkout command followed by b option to switch to that branch too so i'm just going to create a new particular branch and i will add another file for demonstration purpose git checkout hyphen b followed by your branch name so this is my second feature so a uh, new branch has been created and we are this branch is right now active branch so how can we check it we can use the git branch command as you can see my second feature is active right now with this asterisk and a green color symbol now whatever changes i am going to do these changes will be added inside my second feature so let me add another file save it now i am going to reiterate all these steps which we have done again so the first thing is we need to have a git add dot so all my files are ready for the staging area for the next commit and i am going to do a commit so the file has been added and it has been committed now i am going to push it again but this time a push command will be little different instead of using origin master i am going to use origin and my branch name that is my second feature it might ask me again for my username and password so i'll just type in okay so my project has been uploaded to github once again with uh, another branch so i'm just need to verify it again i'm just going to click on my demo project okay you can see there are two branches which are available now and if you want to switch between branches now right now i am in master branch in my github repository in the web content you can see there will be only one file index.html but if i switch to my second feature branch you can see there will be two files available so you can pull any of the branches as well so that feature would be available in that one you can see there are three commits which are available two branches because i have done three commits i can also verify it using the git log there there are three commits and also the whether the email service is working properly or not yes you can see added in second feature from which branch so every details i am getting it properly there are many more features that could be self learn you can use this as your base for further learning thank you for watching this video